Hey everyone, this is Dollface. If you're here for the latest anime reviews and books to hit the shelf, you are in the wrong place. This channel is dedicated towards books and anime that came out years ago that you just somehow missed the bandwagon on. And today's anime we're going to be talking about is Majin Bone, specifically episodes 1 through 10. I know, I know, I put out my last video like three weeks to a month ago and you're probably thinking, well Dollface doesn't take like three weeks to a month to watch 10 episodes. And you're right, you're right, it doesn't. It's just that it was hard. <laughs> I didn't really want to watch this anime. It was because my brother kept pushing me and pushing me and pushing me to watch it. And usually you're just like, well, just because someone pushed you to watch an anime doesn't mean that you have to watch it. It's absolutely true too. But I'm one of those people who, you know, gives people anime to watch and say, you should watch, you should watch it. And they do. And when they do the same thing back to me, I'm I'm really horrible at it. Like I counteract people offering me anime with other anime. So someone will be like, have you seen Helsing? I think you should watch it. It's a really good anime. No, but have you seen Trigun? Ooh, when you get a chance, watch Pumpkin Scissors. I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle of Lucky Star right now. Could you at least try watching One Piece? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no! 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 So yeah, I figured I could do my brother this one solid and watch an anime that he actually recommended. He swears by it, he thinks it's pretty cool. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a chance. So Majin Bone came out in 2014 and it's a mecha anime. It's not Zoids, you know, Zoids like the only mecha anime that I really truly will vouch for. It's not Zoids, but it's okay. Dragon Bone is one of the very many alien fighters that have come down to Earth to protect the Earth from other alien invaders called the Neapolis, Neapolitan, Nipple? Nepos Angelus. We don't know what their purpose for here on Earth is, but you know it can't be anything good. And it's also only been 10 episodes. By equipping the power of the dragon bone, Shogo, along with his teammates, Luke, Tyrone, Antonio, and Gilbert, are able to fight these evil aliens and protect the Earth. Now it took me a really long time to really get ahead in this series, even though it was only 10 episodes, because it just started off super duper slow. I didn't like how the main character was uh, fiddle faddling between like, do I want to be a savior of the earth or do I just want to go back to my normal uh, daily lifestyle of a normal high school student? And this goes on for too many episodes, like four and it's like you know one second he's like you know all right I will make it my primary duty to protect the earth and be a savior but in like the same episode he's just like no I think I just want to go back to my normal high school student life this ain't really for me you know you can have the card back I'm sorry and it's like <sighs> pick and choose which one do you accept your destiny or do you want to pass it up you know tell us what we're doing here so I didn't like that it took about until episode five or six for me to be like, okay, he's on board. He's, you know, on the team. And the only reason why it took until episode five or six was because they did something really cool where they kind of all lined up in threes and they all sync their powers together to create the Majin, which if you I had to explain it, it's basically like, you know, creating like, you know, the Megazord. So it's like, oh, I saw it. It's like, that, that's really cool. That's something. All right. This has piqued my interest. So they created the Majin. And that was cool and all, but it doesn't really take away from the fact that the animation style within the fight scenes aren't all really that good. I mean, it's CGI when they are fighting, so the, the animation is a lot stiffer and it's not as fluid as they'd want it to be. It's not like, um, I don't know, a fast paced anime style where it's like it's smooth. It's not like Naruto where it's like, you know, the fighting is like, you know, fluid and swift and quick. It's kind of like kind of chunky and blocky. It looks like people moving in armor. And you can even see that in the first episode where uh, Shogo is like, oh my God, this is so heavy. So it's not, it doesn't really follow like the rules of anime where, you know, you have a, someone in a piece of armor and it's lightweight. It's actually super, super duper heavy. And it shows in the animation style and the CJ doesn't make it any better. The only time that that's not true was where this other enemy um, bone is fighting them, but he can do these really fast, swift kicks. And that's the only time you see that happening. But other than that, it's, you know, kind of chunky and blocky and it doesn't really make for entertaining value to me. 
The anime kind of picked up its pace around, I would say, episode eight, where they had to go to the bone research facility in Australia after uh, Shogo damages his dragon bone. When you get hit too hard, your dragon or your bone takes on a lot of your damage to the point where it gets fossilized. So it basically kind of like it you know, takes on this bony, ashy kind of appearance and it becomes like lead heavy. So you can't use that particular limb. So they had to take his card to the bone research facility in Australia in order to get it fixed and that's when things start getting cool because you realize that this thing is way bigger than they are and you see all these people who are dedicated towards the mission it's pretty awesome and then these new enemies show up again they're from Nepos Angeles and they're the bad guys and they're not just like aliens from another planet they're actual human beings they're like well if you're a human being if you're earthling just like us then why do you want to hurt the earth and it's like well we feel betrayed by the earth so I'm like sweet tales of intrigue and betrayal and you know that's that's cool to me that's fun <laughs> so I was like this is interesting this is really like you know the tides have turned you know the rules have changed so that in its very last bit spurn me to like you know keep on watching so i'm like okay for the sake of the for basically i want to know what happens now now i'm gonna keep watching episodes 11 to 21. Even though it's only 10 episodes in, the main character struggle shows a lot of character development when he comes back from Australia. Um, that's when he undergoes the pressure of everyone relying on him and the fact that his bone, the dragon bone, is the most important piece of the puzzle and people are gonna come after the people that he loves and cares about in order to get his particular power. So he realized that I'm really gonna have to buckle down and I can't complain anymore and I can't let my feelings uh, uh, get in the way of doing what's right. So he takes on a major character development right in that moment. And you know, I thought that was very inspiring. Not because of that moment right there particularly, but um, the feelings afterwards. He comes home and usually he's kind of lazy and he's very stubborn and he, he has a good relationship with his family, but you know, he's, you know, a high school kid. He's kind of like a slacker. But then he comes back from Australia and he's like, hey, let me help you with that. Or, you know, I'll do that. You sit down. So I was like, wow, you've become an actual better person. You've taken on more responsibility and you have a sense of uh, pride and accomplishment and helping others. I thought that was pretty cool in a brief, you know, what episodes eight and ten that was nice so i'm actually looking forward to if he can change within these two episodes how much better he's gonna get in the next 42 episodes so i think that's something i'm gonna really look forward to and i have to admit that even though shogo's character development really impresses me my favorite character right now is luke because he's a silver-haired gent and i just love my silver-haired gents don't get mad at me i just love him <laughs> so right now he's my favorite character but it could change how do I feel about the opening and the ending theme song? I hate them. Moving on. Theme songs that have that super shonen jump feel to them kind of don't resonate with me very well. So I tend to not to like them very much. With the exception of Hunter x Hunter, all their songs are awesome. All their songs are boss. Departure, amazing. Reason, amazing. All their songs, super cool. So yeah, Hunter x Hunter songs are really awesome. These, not so much. <laughs> I know I went off on a little tangent right there, but I just had to let y'all know. So yeah, I don't really like these theme songs. I'll put them in the description box down below um, for you to check out for yourself and tell me what you think about them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just missing something. Now let's talk about character design. I'm digging it. I like it. It's loose. It's normal. It has that, you know, even though it came out in 2014, it has like an earlier vibe to it. Like it came out in 2002. And it's very simple. It's kind of have very simple lines, not a lot of shading, if at all. It's uh, very basic and solid. And I think the reason why I like that is because I am a person who likes slice of life anime. And so the more basic and original and kind of plain the animation is, um, then the more I tend to like it. So that could just be my bias as to why I kind of like that simplistic animation style. So that was my brief review of Majin Bone Season 1 Episodes 1 through 10. If you'd like to see more reviews about the upcoming episodes, like and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications. And in the comments below, tell me what makes or breaks an anime for you. For this one, it was the CGI. It's not going to completely break me. I have dedicated myself to watching the rest of the series. But what makes or breaks an anime for you? Is it the animation? Is it the characters? Or is it just bad storytelling? Thanks so much for tuning in. And it's looking my 
my other outlets, you can go to my anime list. I'm on there as doll face as well as Instagram, doll underscore face. You can also see me at goodreads.com, also under doll face. Uh, speaking of Goodreads, I am currently reading Shadow of Night for those who are following me with this book. I'm actually making good headway with it. It's not uh, too bad. Um, this review should be coming out quite soon and eh, well, you'll see it when you see it. So have a great day, everyone. Happy Friday and have a great day. Bye-bye.